Okay, I started another project again. I got uh, some 2x2s and 1x4 and I got some 1x2s and I'm going to make a about a 9 foot tower to put uh, Cousin Eddie's windmill on and uh, take it over to him. Well, I don't know how good you'll be able to see this. I had to run into town so I'm getting a late start and it's getting dark. But uh, it's going to be a well, I would say at least 10 feet tall there. Uh, I'm going to make a, a, a windmill type frame for my windmill and see if I can stick it up here in the yard without having to to uh, mess around too much. And That's one I'm actually making for my brother-in-law and uh, we'll go from there once we get it done. Well, this wasn't coming out the, quite the way I wanted it to, and then I, uh, after I got to looking at uh, windmills, they actually come to a point here more at the top, but I already have one of my uh, uprights made. I'm working on the second, and then I'll connect them together. May end up taking them back apart to do some gluing, but... Uh, We'll see here once. I'm going to see how sturdy it'll be and get it stained redwood. Well, I made a rookie mistake, but um, this isn't the last one of these I'm going to build, I'm sure, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. I should have made this board here another three-fourths of an inch longer to cover this edge, <coughs> but to uh, make it work out so that it's a square top, that's going to have to be like that. Oh, that's the worst thing I do today. I, I could cut another piece of board, but uh, I don't want to be wasting it. Well, it's going to be a little bit taller than what I thought it would be for only 8 foot 2 by 2s. Making this little tower out of 2 by 2s and 1 by 2s, and I know that's not going to be real sturdy. But for just a small windmill out in the yard, I think it'll be all right. Uh, finish up that board uh, on top and put a couple more supports on the sides and uh, then I'm going to go from there see if I can get some redwood stain on it maybe yet today and uh, then figure out how I'm going to attach the head of the windmill. Well I kind of goofed up here a little begin, a bit again because I got in a hurry and uh, uh, this isn't going to be the greatest little windmill, uh, wind tower in the first place, but I uh, didn't have the right size drill bit. Then I got the brilliant idea, I just put another board on top of here and it wouldn't drop down, but still wiggles around quite a bit. So I got my hot glue gun here warming up and I'm going to hot glue this. And uh, I'm going to put a lot of glue on, <laughs> glue on it just to make it stick in that hole. And then I'll uh, stick her back up, see how it looks. Yeah, like I said, it's not going to be pretty, pretty ugly. But uh, I really hot glued that in there so that that uh, shaft will not wiggle around for me. And it's uh, going to hold for now. As long as it holds till I get to Cousin Eddie's, then it's his problem. Just kidding. Well, we want to try to do something good. We want to make sure it's right, but or if it ain't right, that it's going to work. I don't have any wind right now, but I do have the tower up. I uh, it did get a little bit twisted on me, so I realize now that I need to run some braces caddy corner. To, from here to there besides the ones that I just have going I think ways so I'll have to get a couple more braces and put them on there but uh, she will spin around and uh, not a whole lot of flop earlier I made the hole too big that I did all the hot gluing for it was really too big now, I got some wiggle in there yet on my, that's probably not going to last, I'm going to have to do something a little different there, but uh, for now, I think we'll be good, 
Eggs. Looks like we should clear all the way around. So, I'm thinking that uh, we're going to be good to go here shortly. Well, this is just to give a little perspective. I'm about six foot two tall. And so, I'm thinking we're at 